minivan. Merely starting a review with that word makes you want to click away, doesn't it? I know, the urge is strong, but stick with me. This is the Kia Carnival. Yes, it's a minivan or multi-purpose vehicle in Kia marketing speak. But it's also kind of cool in a minivan sort of way. Giving credit where credit is due, Kia has managed to partially obscure the Carnival's vanly nature. In profile, this rocker element, sculpted doors, conspicuous wheel arches, and this reverse wing thingy hide the fact that this is basically just a box on wheels. If you come to the back, at the bottom here, there's what's either a rear diffuser or lower skid plate, and then this wide lighting element. Both of those help to hide any unsightly chunkiness. It's all visual trickery, but I say embrace the illusion. Weird, you just burned down precious seconds talking about style in a minivan review. Now, onward to more practical concerns. I don't know why I'm hiding in here. <sighs> the Carnival's cabin includes eight seats in most trims, though seven seats are standard in the base LX trim, and you can only get seven seats on the swankiest, leather-clad SX Prestige trim like we're driving. You'll note that the Prestige trim includes a pair of non-removable second-row VIP lounge seats with long slide abilities, Ottoman-style leg supports, and power adjustment. Is there anything more luxurious than hiring somebody to drive your minivan so you can luxuriate in the second row? Without a doubt, yes, there is. Try aircraft. Golly, these rear seats sure are swanky, but there's an issue. Third row access. There's no good way to get back there with the VIP lounge seats. You slide it forward and then you have to push the uh, power mechanism to angle it that way. This whole process makes the third row nearly inaccessible. And doesn't that defy the premise of a minivan? Yes, it does. So say I, the voiceover. But this accessibility issue only plagues the SX Prestige trim. Lower trims are more user friendly. Once aboard, the third row offers workable space, but this is not the roomiest third row I've ever occupied. And scene. By comparison, the Honda Odyssey offers two and a half more inches of third row legroom than the Kia Carnival. Getting back on the praise train, there is a relatively massive 40.2 cubic feet behind the third row for luggage and such. By comparison, the Toyota Sienna's cargo hold is a notably smaller 33.5 cubic feet. If you need more space, lowering the third row is extremely easy. You can also lower the second row, unless you have the SX Prestige package with those lounge VIP seats. You're beginning to vex me, seats. Assuming you skip the SX Prestige trim, the Carnival provides a max 145.1 cubic feet of space with the second row seats removed. That's a stellar number that essentially ties the Honda Odyssey for best volume aft of the first row in a minivan. Speaking of removable seats, I still prefer the Chrysler Pacifica's clever stow and go second row, which drops into the floor when not in use. Mostly because I'm getting old and I don't want to risk a back injury pulling second row seats out of a minivan. I have a tenuous grasp on my masculinity. I can't be taken down with a minivan injury. Running down the Carnival's many family-friendly features are standard power sliding side doors, seven standard USB ports spread across all three rows, and a center second row seat that folds down revealing a small table or slides forward for easier access to a child from the front seats. One strange element is this whole console here. If they'd used a push button shifter, they could have perhaps opened this area and then created a lower storage zone like every other minivan. <laughs> it kind of looks like an SUV though, so I guess if you like that, that's cool. But where am I gonna put my purse? <laughs> okay, we've delayed it long enough. What is the carnival like to drive? From a power perspective, it's good delivering decent acceleration, occasionally dramatic if you're also turning, and inconspicuous shifts unless you're flooring it like I am right now. Normally it's quite sedate. Yeah, that's a nice smooth shift. The lone engine is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 matched to an eight speed automatic transmission. Here are the power figures, and here's the fuel economy. Compared to the Honda Odyssey, the Carnival is slightly more powerful and slightly less efficient. 
On an efficiency note, the Carnival does not currently offer a hybrid powertrain option. Meanwhile, the Toyota Sienna is only offered as a hybrid, while the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid is actually a plug-in hybrid offering 30 MPG combined fuel economy and a 32-mile electric range. Steering the Kia Carnival isn't a deeply joyful affair, but it does feel predictable with appropriately light efforts at slow speeds, and for a minivan, that is high praise. As for ride quality, the Kia Carnival is smooth and quiet, like Barry White at the library. I'm sorry I couldn't come up with a better metaphor. <laughs> oh. Stay Elemental and a basic Carnival LX trim cost a hair above $32,000, not including destination charges. That amount buys you a minivan with LED headlights, smart key access, blind spot warning, lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking, and safe exit assist, which warns occupants if a vehicle is approaching from behind. The standard infotainment screen is an 8-inch unit, but everything above the base trim gets this 12.3-inch unit, which I really like. The interface is very easy to uh, find your way through. You've got a little volume knob right down here. The only challenge is that it's a little bit of a reach from the driver's seat. I have to lean forward slightly, and I'm a journalist. You know I don't like to do anything. Uh, it's the slightest bit of effort. Uh, now the screen froze up. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. With higher trims, buyers can enjoy three-zone climate control, a hands-free power tailgate, hands-free side doors, a 360-degree camera system, a cabin intercom that projects front occupant voices to rear seat passengers, a camera to observe those rear seat passengers, and a quiet mode so the audio system doesn't disturb those same rear seat passengers. You can also add dual rear seat entertainment screens for when you absolutely, positively need to distract whoever's sitting in back. Just hush up and watch your Star Wars, kids. Daddy needs to contemplate the choices he made. One last element to consider is the all-weather traction of all-wheel drive. You can get it with the Chrysler Pacifica or Toyota Sienna, but not on the Kia Carnival. As mentioned throughout the video, there are three other well-regarded minivans to choose from, but the Kia Carnival has something they don't. Pizzazz! But if all you want is a box on wheels, the Kia Carnival does that well too. And for a competitive price, add all wheel drive and a hybrid model, and this thing could be unstoppable. But skip the VIP lounge seats if you want to use that third row. a little. Ding.